in case your iPhone has accidentally run into a problem and you aren't able to get your iPhone back to normal or for some reason you want to downgrade to an older version of iOS but it's constantly failing. Well, in such cases, putting your iPhone in DFU mode is the only way left as it not only fixes the problems that are found in firmware and software but also helps you downgrade to an older version of iOS safely. And in this video, I'll show you how to put your iPhone in DFU mode using two ways and also show you how to exit it safely and easily. To get your iPhone in DFU mode, first off, you need to connect your iPhone to Mac or PC only using Apple's lightning cable and open iTunes or you can even open the Finder app on your Mac as well. Next up, if you have an iPhone success or earlier models, press the home button and power button at the same time and hold till the screen goes black. Release the power button while still holding the home button. And after like 10 seconds, the iPhone will show a complete black screen and a pop-up window should show up with an info like this on your Mac's screen. And done, your iPhone is in DFU mode. For the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users, you need to press and hold the volume down button and power button at the same time. Release the power button while still holding the volume down button for like 10 seconds and after that the iPhone will show a black screen completely and a pop-up window showing an info like this within the iTunes app. And done, your iPhone is in DFU mode. And finally, for the iPhone 8 and newer model users, you need to press the volume up button first, then volume down button. Keep holding the power button until the screen goes black. The iPhone will show a black screen completely and a pop-up window showing an info like this will show up within the iTunes app. And done. Your iPhone is in DFU mode. Now to get out of DFU mode, you need to follow the same steps based on your iPhone generation but this time, you need to release the power button when you see the Apple logo. That's it, your iPhone will be out of DFU mode. If the previous way feels much of a work, then you definitely need to try out the convenient way. And for that, you need to check out i2 Labs FixCo. And while using i2 Labs FixCo for the same, first off, you need to connect your iPhone to Mac or PC and open FixCo. Next up, click the standard mode option. Click fix now to get started. In this step, the FixCo software will provide you with the firmware package that is needed to fix the problem. Once the firmware has successfully downloaded, you need to click on fix now to begin the process of repair. And the process of repair will begin soon after the process of verification and unpacking is completed. In a matter of something around 10 minutes, the process of repair will be done and the connected device will restart. So that's how you can get rid of DFU mode on your iPhone using a safe and easy way. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. And if you found the video useful, drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more such helpful videos. And see you in the next one.